All right, what's up, guys? How's it going? All right, let's jump to the channel. All right, so today's video is all about the Imperium Trilogy by Claire Legrand. I just finished Fury Born. So, what are my thoughts on this book? What do I um, think about it? Well, I was impressed by it. I thought it was a very good book. Um, the storyline is in two different places. You have one that's um, like a thousand years later, and there's another story that's all before that. So, what is Fury Born? What's it about? Okay, so I'm guessing my cat wants to watch too. You want to be in this video too? Is that what you're saying? Sorry about the interruption. Okay, so you have Rael and Eliana. Who are they? Rael is a son... Well, I don't want to give away the plot. Rael is the queen that um, has been in... Basically, she's been like adopted... She's been put up her whole life, told that she's supposed to do this and that. And sh throughout the book, she has to do these four trials to prove if she is one of the gods. And on the other hand, we have Eliana, who's been kidnapped by the Red Crown and forced to work for them. And she has been basically met by this person called the Wolf. And sh the Wolf, instead of killing her, offers her um, protection to go and find her mom. So, Eliana is what happens a thousand years after Rael, and then Rael is what happens um, a thousand years before. So, pretty basic. Um, which is my favorite character? I don't want to say I want to lean more to Rael or Eliana. I like both of the characters in the book, but um, I feel like you can't really get attached to one character without liking the others because they're both really exciting characters. And I don't want to sway or give more credit to someone else when the credit is all due to both of them. Let's talk about pace. This is actually very fast paced. I read this book in about two weeks. It's um, roughly almost 500 pages. So not a lot of wording. I was very um, excited with it. I was very impressed with it. So yeah, very fast paced. Looked at a lot. I recently have King's Bane. That's actually what this phone is sitting on as I make my video, but I'll take it off of it and um, show you guys the second book in the series. But today is about Fury Born. Um, how much action does this book have in it? That's a good question. Well, I answered my own question. <laughs> All right. So there, this book is like literally packed with action. I mean, very good action-packed book. Um. A ton of good stuff about it. Um, I like the one scene where Rosalvo and Rael are on that ship, and um, Rosalvo's like, "I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna kill you, and this is gonna be your last days." And Simon is tied to the pole, and um, it's like, "Oh my God, where is he? What's he gonna do?" And Eliana, oh well, no, I'm talking about Eliana. Why did I say Rael? I'm sorry, I'm getting so confused. Eliana's on the ship of Rosalvo, Rosalvo's about to kill her, then he gets the sword, slices Rosalvo's um, throat, gets Simon, and they all save each other. What a wonderful freaking story. So, let's switch back to Rael. What parts do I like about Rael? Let's talk about some character traits. Um, she's very brave. Um, she also has this very dear connection to her friends. She likes having them around. Especially after um, she almost nearly dies when this um, king guy throws her off a cliff for um, like betraying her or something like that. Anyway, um, also, Rael, she's very tied to the fact that um, she doesn't know if she wants to accept all the responsibilities because she's not sure if it's going to be enough to satisfy all the people in her nation. So, throughout each trial, she's fighting her, fighting for her life, fighting to survive. And what I really saw in Rael is someone who doesn't give up. You know, I'm really surprised about how, you know, at any moment, she could have died in trials. But she keeps on and keeps on. And one of her motivators... 
Okay, I'm back, guys. Sorry about the uh, cutoff for the other part of the video, but um, I'm trying to clear some stuff out of my phone. But we're still talking about Fury Born. So, honestly, um, I don't have a lot of time to talk too much about the rest of the book, but what I will say is I cannot wait to read King's Bane, and I'm going to be highly impressed, I think, with uh, even Lightbringer, the third series. So, with that being said, um, I really enjoyed this book. I highly suggest it to you guys. If you are wanting an action-packed book um, full of thrills and kills, get Fury Born. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you, guys. Please make sure to like and subscribe on this video if you haven't already. Thank you. And also, I want to go show you guys um, King's Bane real quick. So, bring the camera up right here um, and show you guys. Oh, crap. So, this happens to be King's Bane, the second book in the series. Uh, cannot wait to read it. You can also go check out some of the links in my video describing these series. And I will also post an Amazon wish list describing um, these books. So, thank you guys for watching. Really do appreciate it. Um, make sure, you know, you guys keep on reading. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the Imperium Trilogy. Or if you've never read the Imperium, the Imperium Trilogy, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. I'll be with you next week.